Hey, in this episode, I'm going to talk about my favorite charger for use at home or home studio or home office, mind you, for AA batteries, uh, AAA batteries, C cell batteries, and D cell batteries, and 9 volt batteries. There are a lot of choices out there, and in some cases, you really do get what you pay for. So, the one I have is the Onsman Energy 16. And I'd really love this because this is an easy, no frills, no buttons type of uh, charging device that you just go ahead and slide in your batteries right in the electrical contacts. It charges up to 14 AA or AAA batteries at one time or seven, uh, seven C cell, D cell batteries uh, at one time plus the two nine volts at the same time. And, and really it gets super simple, right? It's completely automatic. Uh, the features on that that I love is also that it um, not only does everything automatically, you just have to make sure that you put the batteries. The only thing you got to do is make sure you put the batteries in there in the correct polarity, right? Negative and, and positive. The tip point, the tippy part is, of course, always the positive. So that's the only thing you got to watch out for when you stick it in. But that's true of just about every single battery charger out there that charges nickel cadmium and nickel, nickel metal hydride batteries. Right, so I charge a lot of these throughout um, the, the week or the day just simply because I use them a lot. I use them for security lights, I use them for my flashes, I use them for other devices um, that, that uh, just all over the place. Okay. And this re just really makes it easy. So the Energy 16 Plus uh, really is, uh, is the biggest one that they sell. They also sell a smaller version. I wouldn't recommend necessarily bringing around the 16 and the 8 plus on mobile location shoots or in traveling because simply because it's kind of big and kind of heavy. These are German designed and engineered and I do believe that they are German made as well but I wouldn't surprise me if they were made in China. I was looking around for information about that and um, I actually couldn't find it. So I'm looking at the instruction manual here and uh, here's some functional overview, right? It charges 1 to 12. Uh, micro or basically triple A's and double A cells or one to six baby C or mono D cells in addition to the one or two pieces of nine volts. So um, this overrides what I was saying earlier. Plus it has two USB charging sockets as well. So you can go ahead and charge a, a tablet, for instance, iPad. Uh, it'll support up to 2.1 amps uh, on the output. So you can go ahead and charge um, a whole tablet that uh, needs 10 watts of charging in there. Um, this will this will automatically charge nickel metal hydride batteries or nickel cadmium batteries. Very few of us use nickel cadmium batteries now because nickel metal hydride is generally uh, the better choice and safer environmentally. However, some solar uh, light systems outside still use NICAD, uh, nickel cadmium. Um, what's also cool is that, uh, again, as I was saying, it's just basically a one-step process. You take the cell and you slide it in there. And basically the first 10 seconds or so, the unit then determines what kind of capacity or what capacity it's in. It determines the chemistry and the capacity and what condition the battery is in. Based on that, it'll figure out whether or not it needs to put it in a refresh function mode where it, it attempts to uh, revive the battery so that it gets better, uh, better full on capacity charge by discharging it, recharging it and go, runs through a cycle or it determines, hey, it's, it's, in, it's in pretty good it's in normal operating condition, in which case it does a full on fast charge. And so it'll fast charge all the way until the last, um, I, I'm guessing about 15, 20%. I'm looking in a manual, I don't see that. But this is typically how some of these smart chargers operate. And then it'll trickle charge and it'll maintain a charge throughout the whole period that you have batteries in there. So you don't actually have to worry about um, turning the unit off. You can just leave all the batteries in there or automatically uh, maintain them in a nice slow trickle charge. So as I was saying, it has uh, the full battery detection. It'll even warn you uh, if it is actually using, um, it is attempting to charge a battery that is uh, not compatible, such as an alkaline battery, one that will, will not accept any charges further. In my example, in, if you look on the bottom of the video, you will see that I actually have it set so that um, I, I have some purposefully de defective battery cells or cells that I've had for good seven or eight years. You know, these are uh, actually more than that. So um, the test will show that a lot of these are actually going to fail the test and thus will uh, let you know, hey, it's, it's, these batteries aren't going to work out for you. If anything, their life is really short 
and it's just going to notify you maybe it's time to get rid of them, uh, replace them. So that's something useful to know. I will say that um, when I do use a smart or smarter configurable charger such as the, as the Maha MH9000 Wizard series, I'll, I have the links down below, you can override a lot of these charging conditions and attempt to bring back some of these cells. However, however, I have found that when you do that, you'll often find that these cells are in fact don't have much capacity left in them. And so um, the 10 second uh, uh, status, quick status check and um, whether or not it is approved for charging, whether or not it's good to use, is a pretty good indicator of what condition your cells are in. So um, while it's nice to be able to try to bring back some of these batteries to life, I found that most of the time uh, the uh, quick assessment, 10 second assessment, is in fact accurate. So you could save yourself some time and basically retire those batteries or use those batteries maybe in remote controls or something that is low drain device. Okay. so. Um, let's see, a uh, quick battery test, you get an LED that is green, over 80% of nominal capacity. LED is orange, is, it's right now at 25 to 80%, let you know um, what, what, uh, what the battery status is, is in there. Um, red means that it's lower than 25% nominal capacity. I end up using a lot of my batteries all the way up to the red point, so I pretty much drain them out uh, fairly quickly. And yeah, so I, I really like um, this charger. On top of that, it's got a three-year warranty. It's got just about every single language you can think of in the user guide. That's why it's so long. But um, but really, the user manual in here is only three pages long. And all you really need to know is follow simple precautions to avoid shock. Don't use it outside. Don't use it when it's wet. Simple things like that. Um, there's very few chargers out there that have protections uh, in place like that in this price range anyhow. Okay. Now, um, that's my favorite uh, home charger in general. I have a bunch of other chargers. I've tried a lot of them. Um, actually, the travel charger that I tend to end up using is actually the Panasonic one that comes in a nice Costco uh, kit. And it, just about every year or so, they refresh it, or every two years, they seem to refresh the charger in there and make it even smarter and better. Okay, so I use Eneloops for that. All right, um, this right here, Take a look at this. This is what I use to actually do a full test on the batteries. Okay, this is a pulse load multi-battery tester. All right, this is a this is a, a U.S. company, and basically it has little slots for you to test uh, 1.2 volt cells, and double A, triple A, C cell, D cells, and N cells at alkaline. Um, and this basically puts on a real on load on the uh, battery to give you a real assessment. Okay. Um, regular battery testers only test the, the voltage. It really doesn't tell you what, what capacity or what condition that's in it. In order to do that, you can actually run some, uh, you could use like, for instance, the Maha uh, 9000 Wizard Series battery charger to figure out what the, what the true capacity of the battery is. But it doesn't really tell you necessarily uh, the life, right? And, and, and the, the discharge rates, it, 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 can, it can do how much longer it's going to last. This actually gives me a, a fairly accurate assessment on the batteries. So if you do go through a lot of these batteries and you don't know what condition your batteries are, um, this is really great. I'll, I'll try to put a link down below for this. I got this a really, really long time ago. So it's kind of pricey, but but at least you know that when you go out and you know, you're know you using batteries, you can account you can account for which ones are actually going to um, give you that, uh, that full life that maybe you need. You know, there's nothing worse than when you're going on site and you're really um, you're really counting on these batteries to produce the flash outputs for instance for you photographers the flash output or if you use video lights that use AA batteries uh, to go ahead and make sure that it gives you that maximum amount of time that you were expecting all right um, that's it for this video I hope this was useful to you uh, if you are thinking about purchasing any batteries or anything like this or basically anything on Amazon please use my affiliate links that helps to support this channel and the videos that I create Okay, um, but other than that, none of these are sponsored by anybody. You know, it's, it's, it's all stuff that I've purchased on my own and stuff that uh, I've used for years. Okay, speaking of years, in case I forgot to mention it, this also has a three year warranty, which is very unusual for a battery charger. So that just goes to show uh, the quality of, of, of this. Um, okay, uh, oh, before about that, I wanna talk about some negatives. This is really not, not a great, uh, necessary great travel charger. The unit's pretty heavy. It's pretty big and it's pretty heavy. It was definitely bigger than I was, what I was expecting, but it's got a lot of 
a lot of stuff in there, a lot of electronics and uh, protections in there. So that's expected. Uh, if you want something smaller, check out the Energy 8, right? And I think they may have a smaller one. I, if I find it, I'll definitely link it in the description down below, or you can check out the QR code. And uh, if you're watching it on TV or tablet or something, you just go ahead and scan that, and you can you can get that get that on there. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I will catch you in the next video.